Hi, everybody. It's Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and welcome to my page tonight. Um, this is a wonderful creative community, and I am going to send out a text really quick and make sure that everybody can find our live video. So give me just a second as I shoot that out. We keep trying to do creative things to make sure that everybody can find us on our lives and uh, everybody in the text group was so thrilled about um, getting a link directly to the video okay instead of the page so I'm going to send that out right now and if you're not part of the um, texting club um, at the very top of this video should be instructions on how to join yourself so that you get alerts um, Okay, so that has gone out, and let's just see. Hello, Terry. Thanks for joining, and uh, let's get the video open here on the Facebook page so that we can see everybody that is coming in. Um, so yesterday, we got a couple of things started. Um, of course, new projects, just what I needed, but uh, I needed some jeans that would fit, and um, those jeans are a little looser, okay? Uh, so I think those jeans are definitely going to fit me, and then I'm working on my apron. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here quickly, and um, let's actually, we're going to start with the jeans, because the jeans have got to dry again. So I'm going to get those going, and then we'll get back to my project of getting our um, one-time use stencil ready to go so that I can finish my apron as well. Okay, if you were around last night, let's see who's all here. Hello, Desiree, Kay. Oh, we've got such a wonderful community. You guys are so wonderful to chime in every day. Sherry, thank you so much for joining. And I'm trying to scroll back, but my keyboard's not helping me. Hello, Karen. I know Karen's newer to our group. So welcome everybody. Okay, I feel like I got a horrible glare on me tonight. I'm not sure what is going on here, but you never know what you're going to get in this little lighting area. Someday we'll have it all fixed and perfect. Okay, but last night we got some really fun stuff going. Okay, we got my jeans going. I got the both pockets going, but slightly different because I was waiting for things to dry. And then I didn't do anything on the front yet. So what we're going to try to do is get our pockets going here. Okay, thank you so much for the stars. And hello from Michelle from Fresno. I hope it's not too hot up there for you. Someday I promise I'm going to come for a visit again. So Fresno is my hometown. Born, raised, and lived up there for... 40 something years. I've been down here for nine. So I think I was up there for like 47, 48 years. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I'm getting a little older. Okay, so let's put our camera down so you can look at my project and I can go through all the wonderful steps that we're going to do. And this is what we pretty much did last night, but I know not all of you were here. Um, and last night we did a wonderful, wonderful promotion where we had a uh, member of our foil club that donated some, uh, well, she donated her entire uh, June collection of foil club foils. Um, and we're going to have a winner. Unfortunately, my team hasn't had a chance to do the virtual hat, but um, we're going to pick a winner sometime between today and tomorrow. And not only are they going to get the foils, but they're also going to get the duo for transfer gel okay so this is what they're going to get um, so that they'll be ready and um, be able to do a wonderful project uh, and in the meantime I'm going to show you how to use this great stuff so that whomever whomever is our lucky winner um, is going to have all the tools all the instruction and be ready to create a wonderful project for herself or himself hey we're not going to discriminate we got some guys on here too, okay? And I'm just looking for a brush that I can brush this on with. Um, and just a little bit of detail. 
Georgina, hello, hello. Oh, don't worry. We're doing it again tonight so you can get caught up. Hello, Donna. Thanks for making the video. Um, so like I said last night, we had an incredible live. We had so much participation and we have a winner. So I figured let's try to do it again tonight. If you guys want to participate, um, if you're in the texting club, all the instructions came through on your text message of what you have to do. But if you have been around here for a while, you guys know you need to go like the video, share the video, and then come back here in the comments and let me know that you did. And if we can get 25 shares again tonight, and last night we got 36. We were awesome. Okay, you guys were an awesome, awesome group. So excited to be able to send out happy mail again. Okay, um, so it's all upon you. If you guys want happy mail to come out, then all you have to do is follow the instructions and make sure we can get at least 25 shares. And we always pick a winner and send out some great happy mail. And we're hoping to introduce somebody new. So the more that you can share and um, help us spread the word, the more we can possibly even get somebody new hooked onto the art of foiling or doing some kind of crafting, okay? Because we know that this is the best stuff for your heart, okay? Uh, thank you, Kay. Appreciate it. Thank all of you that have hit that sprinkle button, okay? Okay, so for those of that missed anything last night, this is the new formulated Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. Okay, and this allows you to do a transfer with or without heat, okay, with this product. And it's designed for textiles, okay. It will also work on some of your hard crafts. It works great on paper. It works with stencils. Um, so it can be either a heat transfer or a regular scrub it on transfer. So it's just a gel medium in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's just white and creamy. It comes out looking white, as you can see as I'm painting it on, and it starts to dry clear, okay? Now, last night I was very generous with my application process, which took a good 15 plus minutes, I think, for it to dry. Um, if you want to do just a scrub technique, you want to catch this product in its sticky stage, okay? So that means it needs to stick or dry for about 15, 20 minutes and be sticky. Um, and then you can just go ahead and rub on your foils. If you get past that point, then you're probably going to have to wait the full hour and grab your iron, okay, and do a heat transfer with it. Um, but we're also going to do a heat transfer with my apron so I will show you how to do that as well tonight. So you can just you can freehand with this stuff you can be doing stuff like I am where I'm just isolating different parts of my jeans to enhance oh, you like that word enhance with foils okay um, or you could I mean you could get a stencil out you could stencil on these um, I mean, there's so many options for creativity and making them your own masterpiece that it is just fun stuff, okay? And this product is designed for fabric, so it is meant for this application. And the foil that I'm using as well is going is designed for textiles, okay? So I do want to just remind you that not all, okay, not all of our foils are textile foils. So I just want to give you guys a little heads up that if you are trying to do this and you're not sure if your foil that you've picked is a textile foil or not, you can always head to our website, go and search for the foil that you have, color or pattern, okay? And in the description box for every single foil, it is going to tell you if it is a textile foil or not. It's at the very bottom of the description box, okay? So it'll say something like textile friendly or not. <laughs> so make sure that you are using the right kind of foil because we don't want you to do all this work, put all that effort into creating something 
and then not have it work, okay? Um, so I'm hoping that we can get a lot of sprinkles as well tonight, guys, and um, do another giveaway. Let's see if I can work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to work on the front of the jeans. I think I'm going to have to just wait until I get this transferred and then do the front, okay? Uh, because we now have we now have sticky pockets, okay? We got stuff that's wet and it needs to tack up. So let's get rid of my brush and then I'm going to pull out my apron that I was working on last night. Um, and we might have to move the jeans over somewhere else. Okay, let's move those over that way. Okay, I tried to clear off a little bit bigger spot, but I guess I just didn't clear off enough tonight. Or I just really need to clean off my table, okay? <laughs> I think that's the bottom line. I just need to clean my table. Okay, so I used my um, Cameo, which is um, one of the Silhouette machines, okay? And I cut out my logo. Um, and I'm hoping that this is going to work okay because I was trying to... Uh, phone a friend really quick. <laughs> Don't you love it? Phone a friend and see if I could grab a file that she had created for me for my huge um, sign that I did for the building and resize it for this project. Well, she didn't answer, but I think I might have done it on my own, which I'm so impressed because I'm telling you, I'm not real... Um, real great with trying to do the programming part of the um, the cameo okay so what I'm doing here is I'm doing what's called weeding and I'm weeding out the part of the design that I do not want to transfer okay so what I'm gonna leave here is going to be the words artistic painting studio and um, hopefully get this transferred to my apron okay so there's a lot of weeding because it's three words <laughs> and um, I'm using what's called a pick tool okay and the pick tool works great to um, pick out the areas that you don't need okay uh, the product I'm working on um, is called our heat transfer vinyl adhesive it is one of four different materials we have for working on your fabric projects, okay? And the carrier that it's on is super sticky, okay? Which is keeping your design in place while you get it ready to transfer, okay? So this is actually an adhesive. Oh, Deborah, oh my gosh. Um, okay, it's a call, company called Bagworks, and I don't even think they exist anymore, okay? I looked for them earlier this year, and obviously I've had this apron hanging around for a long time, but I think you could probably find something similar at maybe Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby, okay? Uh, I don't think... I don't think this is gonna, this is something like super, super um, unique, okay? Uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, I think you could probably find these, okay? Uh, or something similar. It's just a canvas um, apron. And I painted it last night. So if you would love to go back and just review what I did to get to the color I'm at, um, this was part of last night's live, okay? So if you scroll down the feed of our page here, um, you will find it from last night about 5 o'clock, okay? And that'll show you how I painted the apron because it was just a natural canvas color, so it was like this natural canvas. And it feels kind of stiff, but I know once it's laundered, it'll definitely soften up, okay? So don't feel like it's going to be a real, real stiff apron, okay? Um, it's just stiff from the first layer of paint. Okay, I think I'm going to cut to the bottom of this off just to make my life a little easier. Uh, so I am a firm believer but that this material is best to cut with your um, Cameo, your Cricut, whatever plotter that you have, okay? 
and it will um, cut out your design. I'm using what's called an LED light, okay, which helps when you shine this on it. It helps you to find your cut lines because the cut lines are so faint because you're only cutting through one layer of the material. So sometimes it's really hard to see that. I find that if I have color underneath and use my LED light, that that gives me my best um, lighting for trying to get these. Um, so Uganda said, I bought an apron with a ruffle and cut it off. So it might be my style. <laughs> Well, you know, you can always alter, okay? <laughs> that is one thing, is we always have scissors and ability to um, alter some things. But yes, some cute aprons. I'm actually looking for some that we're going to have printed with our logo um, because we've had so many customers ask for t-shirts and aprons, okay? So we're trying to get those done sometime soon which will be fun, okay? So I'm just kind of going back and weeding out any other part that still needs to be taken out in between the letters. And um, getting to my third row here, okay? So I've got, a, I've got a long name, of course, Artistic Painting Studio. I couldn't have, I couldn't have chose a, a simple name. I had to choose a, a nice long name, okay? With three words. Um, oh good, I didn't cut that too short. I was starting to worry that I had letters that were going to come down too long on this, but I think I did okay. But these do take a minute or so to weed, okay? And actually, it's not a bad process. It's just, it's kind of fun. Just kind of have to get in here and figure out what parts you, you need to remove and make sure you're removing everything you do not want to transfer. If there is even a little scrap of this adhesive on here, when I go and iron it onto the apron, foil will transfer there, okay? So this is going to be our glue for our foil adhesive. And like I was saying, we have four different types of glue to help you out with all your projects. We have tried to make sure that we have something for just about everybody. Hello, Faye, thanks for joining. Um, so if you've never done this before, you can find this heat transfer vinyl on our website. And it, if you just go to foil adhesive, all of our foil adhesives are on one page, okay? So that you can find everything there. And we have our regular Artsyville that's designed for all your hard crafts. We have um, three different deco foil products, okay, for all of your fabric projects, okay. It's amazing. We have more foil adhesives for fabric than we do for anything else, okay. Hey, 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 I'm almost there, guys. Oh, thank you for the sprinkles. Appreciate that, Desiree. Um, so again, y'all, don't let me down tonight, okay? I've got another great giveaway. This is going to be my last big creative live for the week because I am flying out of town tomorrow. So I'm not going to be doing um, a whole lot of lives. We're probably going to do one or two from my location that I'm going to just to let you guys have a little inside peek on where I'm going and what I'm doing, but I'm heading to my mastermind, which is an incredible group of like-minded creatives um, that we gather together every month via online, on a Zoom call, and then we meet up three times a year um, in person. So this is our second gathering and we're going to New Orleans this time. So I'm excited. I haven't been to New Orleans in, oh, probably at least three or four years. Um, I think my last trip there was all baseball related. <laughs> uh, Desiree says, I'm cra the crazy one who does not have a machine to use with this. So she cuts her own designs. And that's very true. So even though it's truly designed 
to be cut with a plotter, okay? So like your Cameo, your Cricut, um, Desiree has found ways to actually use this material and hand draw and cut her designs. Now she is really, really diligent about trying to do that. I am one who says, Hep, yeah, I'm definitely going to use my system, okay? And I'm not really good with my Cameo. I have a friend that definitely helps me out, okay, all the time. Bless her heart. Um, so here it is. Okay, that's my logo. And when you're cutting on this, okay, because you're looking at the carrier side right now, um, which is a sticky piece of plastic, and on the back side is where the adhesive is. And when you cut your designs, you have to mirror image them. Otherwise, you will not have it correct, okay? When you go to transfer it, it will be backwards. So you've got to make sure that you're doing mirror image and I'm just picking out any extra pieces, okay? Like I told you, if there's anything left on here that is adhesive, it will transfer to that surface, okay? So now I can flip it over. I can decide exactly where I want to put it. And my logo goes that way, okay? So centering my logo is kind of crazy. Um, okay, we're going to get that over as far as we can. Yeah, we're going to kind of see if I like that. And I don't know if this cut on here really straight. So I'm going to have to kind of eyeball and see what we get here, okay? And I'm going to take my time because I definitely want, I want this to come out nice, okay? I don't want this to be wompy, okay? <laughs> Um, so I'm going to use my little ruler here, and I'm going to try to see if we're straight, okay? Um, okay, well, that's going to be interesting to figure out if we're straight or not. Okay, so if we find a line down here, I think we are pretty straight. Sometimes these projects are always fun to do, okay? Uh, just trying to make sure you've got a straight line. I think we've got like a crease here that's pretty good. That should be, well, that's not straight. Okay. Okay, so forgive me. Forgive me for being technical here, okay? But we are going to try to see if we are at least breaking a line. That should be straight. Okay, I don't think we're straight yet. Yeah, we're like at 7 and... Um, a quarter there and we're at seven okay so we're totally off okay so let's make sure that we we have just got to take a little bit more time and be a little bit more precise and that's why I like where using these kind of rulers this is my quilters ruler and it's see-through so that you can see right through it and determine if you are straight okay and get some lines to work with and I think that's going to be pretty good okay now I'm going to grab and plug in the iron okay because I haven't done that yet oh Lorraine thank you so much I am thrilled with them okay they're fun to work with I don't care which of the um, colors that you pick from the DIY and the teals they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, let's see, let's plug us in so that we've got some heat. Let's turn that up so it's not down. <laughs> no problem, Desiree, I'm telling you. At some point in time, maybe you'll find a great ca a cameo that nobody has ever opened and taken out of the box and um, you will get uh, a great deal on one because I know some of them, um, I know some people will sell those cameos and crickets off pretty cheap when they just decide they don't need it anymore. So I think that would be the best thing to look for. Um, Jenny says she'll meet me and no. <laughs> yeah, it's always a fun place, but I'm going for work. So this girl is going to be up at the crack of dawn. And um, at the table with um, computer and notes and ready to work every day at 8 o'clock. And we don't quit, okay? We are um, an absolutely crazy group. 
that will go at it like 10, 12 hours a day, okay, because we only get to gather three times a year. So we are making sure we are covering all the subjects we want to cover when we gather as a group, okay. So I'm going to, again, just make sure I am pretty close here to being straight, okay, and um, give ourselves at least a good starting point. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I'm kind of close over here where my uh, seam is on the side because that's where the end of my logo goes, okay? And let's just see how, how straight this is down here, okay? Yeah, we're probably a little off, but I think we're gonna be good enough. Georgina, thank you for the stars. That's so sweet of you. Okay, if anybody has like gathered late, um, we're going to do another giveaway tonight, you guys, if we can get at least 25 shares. And um, last night we had a huge giveaway. Okay, it was valued over 70 bucks. And if you guys can rock it again tonight, I think I'll probably do the exact same giveaway, okay? So that means we need to rock it and we need to get at least 25 shares. If you can get 36 again, that would be totally awesome, okay? So I'm gonna go back to details on this. Um, so if you wanna go see how I did the apron, please go watch last night's live. It was at five o'clock last night. It'll be really easy to find. Just scroll through the, the feed on my page here. And then this is our heat transfer vinyl adhesive. When you cut it, you want to make sure you mirror your image so that when you're flipping it over, okay, it's going to be readable, which it is. <laughs> the first one I ever did, I did not mirror, and I have a backwards faith shirt, okay? So I have a, a shirt that says faith, and it's backwards. Um, the next thing you're going to do is once you cut it, you're going to weed it out. And I was telling you that being on a colored uh, background helps and then trying to use our little LED lights. Um, when you order the um, heat transfer vinyl from us, um, I just want to make sure that's getting hot, okay, um, we send a little light with it, okay, and instructions. Uh, and then once you have cut it out, weed it out, put it in place, and you are going to iron it. So I'm on medium heat. Um, oh, no, I'm not. I'm too hot. Okay, let's let's I'm going to turn that down. That dial got up. Okay, I always try to be at medium heat, which basically is like a blend. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, you don't want to go all the way to cotton, okay? So this is kind of like your polyester blend setting, um, medium heat. Uh, and everybody's iron is different, okay? So this is a newer iron. It gets hot. My old iron didn't get that hot, so I was actually able to go all the way to hot with my old iron. But then I found out that was not good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and iron this, okay? And I like to do pressure. So don't do this on your ironing board. Do this on a hard surface, okay? Because I really like to put pressure and push down on my design, okay? And basically, it just disappeared, okay? You saw it before. Now it almost goes completely clear that it is heating up and transferring over to your surface. Now, if you have a heat press, if you are the bomb and you've got a heat press and you know how to work yours, like I have a heat press, I just don't know how to work mine, um, you can also do this with your heat press, okay? Uh, so we actually, if you download the instructions on how to work with our heat transfer vinyl, instructions are there for both. Um, using it with an iron and also uh, with a heat press, okay? So when you're peeling back, you just want to make sure that all your design elements are adhering to the surface, okay? So make sure nothing is stuck to the carrier as you roll it back. And voila, okay? It has transferred. So now I have my design that is sticky. Okay, this is going to be my carrier for my foil. And this right here is just going to be garbage. Okay, there's nothing else really you can do with that. 
Um, so now, now we get to decide. Oh, okay. We might have to go back to our jeans, okay? Because it has been a little bit of time. So let me put this safe. Okay, and I got that iron out, so I'm trying to be careful that I'm not going to burn myself here, okay? And let's, let's get the jeans up. So I'm afraid I'm going to let the jeans go too far. And we don't want that to happen, okay? We've got so much stuff out here. Okay, let's make sure we don't ruin that apron. And we want to make sure that we're getting the jeans. Oh, darn. Girlfriend. Amber came back here and stole my foil, okay? I might have to go get some more pink foil. Okay, well, let's go do that real quick, okay? Forgive me, I didn't realize Amber stole my foil today. She must have needed it for a project. Hey, I see what she needed it for. about that. Amber stole my pink leopard and didn't tell me, okay? I thought for sure <laughs> I had seen it here, okay? Okay, so we're going to grab ourselves a fresh piece of foil off this roll because what I had left on this little sheet over here was not enough. There's little bits and pieces that possibly would have worked, but I think it was just easier to have a nice brand new piece okay so amber always knows when she cannot find something in the foil drawers that it's normally on my table okay <laughs> so she came a looking okay so here we're going to be doing our transfer with just the foil okay so all we're doing is putting the foil over the area that has our remember we're working with the transfer gel duo Okay, and I'm going to scrub to see how it's transferring. Okay, so there's some areas that are still maybe not dry enough. So you got to get in there maybe and scrub a little bit harder, but you want to get this when it's at like a tacky stage, okay? So that's why I was saying about 15, 20 minutes, you want to scrub, okay? And then just see how it's transferring. If there's some place it's not transferring right now, you can always go back and do a little backfill in that area, okay, if it needs to dry a little bit more. And I was a little less generous with my adhesive tonight because I was wanting to see if, um, if it would dry quicker and still be a really good transfer, okay? Uh, and... It is. So just got to make sure you kind of get in that window. Um, Arlene, thank you so much. Oh, okay. So Georgina saying she used a frozen spoon to cool the carrier a bit so it didn't pull the HTV. Okay, when you're pulling your HTV adhesive, you really want to pull it when it's warm, okay? So it's not supposed to be a cold release of what I just did. That's a hot release or a warm release, okay? So if it's not, if your HTV adhesive is not sticking to your surface, maybe you did not iron it long enough or put enough pressure on it, but that is supposed to be a, a warm release, okay? You're not supposed to wait till it cools off. So that could be part of the problem, okay? Warm, but not hot. Yeah, I mean, but it should, yeah, I just normally pull it when it's, <laughs> even when it's hot, okay? <laughs> but I don't ever bother cooling that off, okay? Um, but yeah, if I find that there's something not sticking, then I just immediately go back and iron it again. Okay, now I have some areas here that are not sticking well yet. And I got a feeling it's just... Still too wet so I can always come back and add some more foil over there and let's try to do our pocket okay the top of our pocket here and yes these are turning out so so cute 
Oh, Georgina, then just use a, a lower setting on your iron, okay? You also can do, um, you can put parchment paper down to protect all of your surfaces. So if your iron gets super hot, use a lower setting. If you're still worried about it, you can put parchment paper over your foil before you use the iron. So that way it won't melt the foil like I've done once, okay? I did that. I'm sure I've shared the story with you guys, but I was on stage at a pretty big convention and had hundreds of people sitting in the audience watching me do a project. Plus, it was being live streamed to hundreds of more. And I'm showing them how to do a pair of jeans, okay? And I sold the hotel iron. Um, yeah. and brought it over to the convention site because I thought, okay, well, I just need to iron this. It'll be so, not a big deal. I melted, I melted the carrier, okay? I melted the whole foil on the iron, okay? It was awful. <laughs> but actually the good part of that story is even though I had basically melted the foil, this stuff stuck to the iron, okay? We had to get like salt out and clean the iron off, okay? Because it had melted the foil. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so she's melted hers too. So if you've ever had foil melt on your iron, salt helps to get it off, okay? Just so that you know. And I cleaned up their iron really, really good before I gave it back to them. Um, but I came back after I had cleaned everything up, lit the iron, clean up, cool off, and I grabbed a fresh piece of foil. I went back over the design where I had melted it and it transferred beautifully. Okay, so don't think all is lost. If you have a little hiccup, okay, like that, and you end up, um, you end up getting something you didn't want. Okay, so I have some places I still need to let it dry. So we're gonna put those aside for a few minutes. And we'll come back to it. So it, it I, <laughs> I love the stories here. Okay, I'm not the only one that melted. Oh my gosh, melted their foil. Okay, so that's why I do say it's really, really good idea to go ahead and use parchment paper because parchment paper is going to be your saving grace that you won't have to worry about how hot the iron really is. Okay, okay, so I'm going to. And I don't know, I brought some foils out, okay? So I've got my leopard, and I thought I could do my whole logo in leopard. And then I thought, okay, well, I could just do it in teal, teal on teal, because basically our logo is teal. Um, and then I brought out some fun colors to do the little splashes of paint on the end, okay? So I'm going to cut off little pieces. This is really going to make Amber happy, okay? <laughs> She just loves it when I get into the foil drawer, okay? Because it's like, oh, can you tell Jim's been in here? She's got all these foils out. She's cut them off. They're not straight anymore. I'm like, okay, well, who cares? We, we've got to cut little snippets and have different colors. So I'm using cinnamon, pearl white, and pink gold, okay? It's going to be my little colors for my paint splashes. And then I'm trying to figure out, I think I might just have to do the leopard blue because just regular teal is going to be kind of boring. So I think we're going to go for that. Now I'm going to have to cut just little tiny pieces of this. I don't really need much. I just need snippets, okay? Um, and we'll place those on, we'll place these over here, okay? So I want to try to get my little snippets where I need them. And it's going to be easy to go from this way. Oh, there we go. And then I can finish out that one over there. Okay, I'm just trying to get them to where they're going to stay. And then hopefully one sheet of this and we should have this all done. Yes, I got a feeling that this is going to be super, super cute. Okay, I'm trying to think what's the best way to go. Okay, we're just about going to make it. Okay, and let's make sure we have enough height here. Okay. 
And I'm, I'm telling you, aprons, I mean, finding aprons in bulk, okay? I want black aprons, um, just because I thought that would just be the simplest, is to do a black apron and um, put our logo on it. And I'm telling you, every time I get to finding somebody that supposedly does t-shirts or does aprons, I don't know if they're just busy or they don't really want, you know, a small account. But I can't get anybody to kind of like commit and get anything done. So it just keeps staying on the back burner, on the back burner, on the back burner, okay? Now I can tell I'm really hot, okay? So I'm gonna actually turn my iron down a little bit more. And like I said, if you get parchment paper out, you definitely are going to protect um, your foil and you will not scorch them, you will not ruin your iron. And you can always do the salt trick and get the foil to come off of the iron, okay? You guys see, I'm moving around at all times. I'm never gonna let the iron just sit. I'm using pressure. I normally will stand and do this, but I'm trying to stay off my ankle still. Um, so I'm sitting tonight. But standing actually, I think, helps because it allows you to get on top of things, it allows you to use some more pressure and make sure, and like I said, I like a hard surface. Don't do this on your ironing board, okay? Your ironing board is too flexible, and I don't think it gives, it allows you to get the pressure that you need to have, okay? And I do this for a couple of minutes, okay? I wanna say that I've read everywhere from 30 seconds to maybe a minute and a half. I just wanna make sure that everything is adhered. So I'll even kind of like do a little bit of a, tug okay just a light gentle tug and just make sure that everything is done normally you can see the design come through and you can see where it's almost all transferred okay and this this you guys is a cold release do not absolutely do not try to pull your foils off while they're hot they are not designed for a hot release so uh, be careful Okay, let's put that iron down there and make sure it's unplugged and <laughs> safe, okay? So let this cool and let it cool naturally, okay? Don't try to put it in the refrigerator, the freezer. Do not try to instantly cool this off. I have had customers have issues by trying to do that, okay? And it took a 30 minute plus phone call trying to figure out what they had done that caused their foils to not work, okay? And finally, through the entire length of the conversation, we discovered that, oh, well, they were in a hurry and they were not being patient and they stuck it in the freezer or the refrigerator. And guess what? That wasn't good. Okay. So um, just let it cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it cool off. Okay. So I want to do my crocodile roller. On the bottom pockets okay so I'm going to come in here and roll and show you guys how to do a positive application with our negative roller does that make a lot of sense <laughs> let's get positive with my negative okay <laughs> um, and okay guys let's keep up the comments here okay have you shared or sprinkled if you have make sure you come back in the comments and let me know that you did and um, I want some help on this, okay? So let me know if we, I th I'm almost thinking that's gonna be too light, that I think I might wanna grab my blue. So let me find what I've got over here. Do I not have, can you see that? I've got mermaid tail. Oh, I'm almost positive I have blue out. I was wanting maybe a darker blue. I don't know if I just want the teal. Um, oh, we could do this with, I know what we could do it with. We could use even our general finishes in a darker blue, and maybe I might even mix, okay? We just might be doing something crazy tonight, because I don't know, I was looking for, um, we have a boho blue and a hay sailor. And the DIY key, and I really thought I had that still, but I don't know, maybe it got dried out. Uh, mermaid tail. Okay, so I think, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm thinking I want blue on here, like a teal blue, a darker blue. Um, so give me some feedback in the comments, or 
we can do our metallic in the, um, this is rose gold, but I think that's just going to get too lost. I don't think that's got enough contrast, okay? So I think we're going to go for the blue, um, and I'm going to just make a color, which, why not? It's just easier to make a color that you want. So I'm going to do as I always do, okay? Um, okay, yes, yes, Desiree, encourage everybody. We got to get, we have to have 25 to get a giveaway tonight, okay? So, and I know there's been plenty of you on here to participate in that. So do us a big favor and allow us to do a giveaway tonight, okay? All you have to do is um, hit that share button, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Sherry. We just got, we got to go blue, okay? Um, I think it'll just give more pop, more interest. But this is where I normally like to work with the rollers. I like to have a flat surface. I'm just using a serving tray, okay? Um, you can find these at like Smart and Final or any restaurant supply place. And I'm going to use the DIY paint and also deepen it a little bit with some of our milk paint just because I want a darker color. Um, so as you guys join in, make sure you make my day and give us a, uh, a like and a share and uh, just share it to your own personal page so that way you can find this video later yourself, okay? So one thing about your um, DIY paints. They always look darker when they're wet. So when you're trying to figure out your project and um, you're figuring out your color combination, realize that when the paints are wet, they're going to be darker. When they dry, they dry lighter. Okay, so be careful that you may do a little test and make sure it's the color you want. So I'm going to deepen mine. I'm just adding, I know, I'm dirty brushing, I'm doing all kinds of things wrong, but I wanted something a little bit stronger, so I have mixed in General Finishes Coastal Blue to my mermaid tail, okay? And let's see, let's see what color I came up with. And, oh, I think that'll look pretty on there. Okay, if I feel like I got too blue, I can always grab more teal, okay? And lighten it up a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, I think I wanna lighten it up just a little bit. And yes, I'm, I'm making a mess of my color, but that's okay. So the roller that I'm using is our crocodile roller. And any of the red rollers are designed to do a negative process, meaning they were truly designed to have wet paint put onto a surface and while that paint is wet, you roll through it and you make an impression. Or a wet texture, a glaze, a stain, anything that's gonna stay wet long enough that you can roll through it. So they were really never to designed to create a positive application, meaning paint the design onto the surface, okay? So just kind of like what I'm doing right now, let's say that my table was green, like my tray, and when that was dry, I came in and painted this teal color over the top. So let's just like pretend <laughs> this is a drawer front or something. At this point, this is what they're meant to do. They're meant to roll through that, and once you roll through, it makes an impression in it, okay? And exposes a little bit of the underlying color, but it makes an impression in that paint. That is what they were designed to do. So it'll do it through texture, glaze, paint, and stain, or anything that you can find that's wet. Now, what I just also did is as I did that, I have loaded the raised part of the design with paint now, okay? Um, so if I'm trying to do a positive application, you saw that I rolled the paint on very thin 
to the surface because all you want to do is pick it up on the high part of the design. You don't want it to get into that design and make a mess, okay, because it will. Um, and my tray is not flat, so I'm trying to roll in every direction to make sure that I've got the whole pattern loaded. And once you do, and I am going to have to stand for this, okay, I'm going to roll with this. Now, the only bad thing, okay, when you're doing the positive is it's going to go from a dark print to a light print, okay? Because you're going to run out of paint. That's just what happens, okay? There's nothing to hold that paint on there and keep it wet and continually feed more paint to the roller. So you will have to reload your roller and get it more paint on it again. And you're going to have to figure out if you're going to try to be able to line that pattern up as well, okay, which is going to be impossible. Um, but we're just going to go for it, okay. And again, it went from dark to light. Now, I'm okay with this. This is whimsical. This is fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is just a fun project. And now I have my crocodile print on here, okay? But you have to realize to do any kind of positive application with the red rollers that you're going to have something that's going to be more impressionistic. You're going to have to try to line up your pattern, which it probably never will line up. You're going to have from dark to light. Um, if you're doing canvas, if you're doing smaller projects, you're doing a drawer front, all of this works okay, okay, because it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but if you do it the way they were intended to do, okay, then you can get a perfect, perfect print. So I'm going to go ahead and, again, just show you. So this is my drawer front, my pretend drawer front, okay, where I have painted the paint onto the surface, and I have a contrasting color underneath. When I roll through here, I'm going to make a gorgeous, perfect print, okay, and I'm going to have a little texture. I'm going to have a little bit of exposure of the underlying color. So the more contrast that you have between the under color and your second color that you're using, the more that will pop off of the surface. If you want something subtle, then keep your colors closer together, like here, the green and blue. If you want something that really pops, you can definitely change your colors and get something that will really, really pop. Um, yes, but that is a whole different technique, so I'm not going to talk about that right now. Okay, Desiree, there are ways to use the rollers different, but I'm just showing you guys how, how they're intended to be used in a negative process and how you can make them work, okay, in a positive application. I have tons and tons of videos on my YouTube channel that will explain other techniques and ways to do them, but I feel like if I start getting into too much on one video it just gets confusing okay um, so you definitely can make it work and oh I must have water oh I think there's water in that roller okay that's where that came from whenever we clean them sometimes they just get water that stays in the um so see how when that's got wet see how much darker it got okay so um, it'll definitely get dark when you wash it <laughs> okay let's see I think we're cool enough here, okay, so we can do some revealing. This is going to be so cool, okay. So just peel back your foil. Oh my gosh. This is turning out so beautiful, okay. Wowzers. You got to love working with this product, okay. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. Okay. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's take off my little colors down here on the end. So I got my little paint splashes. And we're going to turn this around for a great reveal. Oh my, oh my. Okay. So there is a million and one things that you guys can do with the foils and create and make beautiful things for yourself, for your home, for your textiles, all the projects that you want to do. 
um, that are fabric related. I mean, there's just so much that can be accomplished. It's just endless, absolutely endless, okay? So here we go with a blue leopard, blue and teal leopard artistic painting studio, okay? I think this is going to be such a great apron. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one on my trip and rock it while I am at Mastermind because we are going to craft. <laughs> like I said, we have a very, very creative group. So we're going to be crafting while we are there. And this will be fun. Okay, so we're going to put that aside and make sure that I don't ruin it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, there's just no place to put anything right now, especially with a wet, wet tray of roller and paint. Okay, so let's put that down on the garbage can and get rid of that. Okay, so that makes me safer. And then I just wanted to come and do a little test here again. Thank you so much, Terry. Oh my gosh, I so am in love with that project, okay? And it's amazing how it just takes us forever sometimes to get all those little things done. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come in here. And I just want to test, okay, where I know now that that's definitely drier in that one little spot. If I can come back, oh yes, it's taking foil. So if any place just doesn't transfer with your first round of application, just go back in there with either your fingernail or your scrub brush and you're definitely going to get a little bit better transfer, okay? So if you just ended up with some area that just left, wasn't like dry enough, okay? That's where that one little area that was recessed wasn't dry enough. But oh my gosh, look how cute these are. These are gonna be so fun. <laughs> I love, I love blingy, blingy pants, okay? And like I said, I'm hoping that these are um, comfortable enough to actually put on and wear. So I am going to finish these out, okay? And I think, huh, I don't know. I know I want to do my belt loops because I got to do my belt loops on both sides, okay? So let's get me a brush and a paper towel. And then I'm still trying to decide if I want to do the pocket or not, okay? Sometimes I don't mind a lot of color on the back side. Sometimes I don't want as much color on the front side. Oh, I'm seeing some new names in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our creative community. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and don't forget, you guys, we're doing our giveaway. So if you have not yet, uh, hit your share button, okay? And come back here and tell me that you shared. Otherwise, we won't know that you did it. And we can put you in the drawing for tonight if we can get... 25 shares and I'm sorry to talk about it again but we're not there yet so without 25 shares we can't do a giveaway that is just my one criteria okay I don't mind doing giveaways you guys just got to do the part on do your part okay that's all you have to do just do your part um, so if you are just catching us live we are using a fabric textile foil adhesive and it is a new and improved formula that allows heat transfer as well as just scrubbing it on. So I have been showing how to do just the scrub on transfer. Francis, thank you so much. We appreciate that. <laughs> Lorraine says, inside top of pocket. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a thin line. Okay. I might just do just above that. Okay. Let's see if I can stay on that line. Sometimes my brush is a little bit wide here. Yeah. I think I'm just going to stay narrow. I don't want to go all the way down to the stitching. I'm going to keep it subtle. Okay. And just do a little bit of this. So I've got some packing to do. I am flying out of here tomorrow afternoon. I have a late... I just have an afternoon flight, which is nice because it's going to give me tomorrow to hopefully get things done that I was supposed to get done today that uh, did not get done. Do you have those days? I had um, I had to go by my doctor's office and pick up a prescription because uh, it was not available and I'm leaving town tomorrow. So he had something for me to pick up. And then I had to go get an x-ray and an ultrasound on my ankle. 
um, trying to figure out what damage I have done. Uh, and then I had an interview uh, with a young lady who I have hired. So we're going to have our newest team member starting next week. And we are super excited about her coming on board. Um, she is going to take on um, a lot of things that are going to come off of my plate, hopefully. Mindy, thank you so much for the shares. We appreciate that. That is so awesome. Um, so yeah, my day got taken up by um, phone calls, interviews, uh, a couple of hours by the time I ran all the way to Newport. <laughs> yeah, my doctor's not down the street. Okay, so I had to run to Newport to go get those meds. But that was important. Okay, I take something daily and I didn't have any left, which was not going to be good. Georgina, you are so sweet. <laughs> um, Georgina, we don't put any of the adhesives in the... Um, foil club. The foil club is just foils, okay? The only time we have an option is when you first subscribe, you have the option to buy the foil keys of the first time, okay? Um, so unfortunately, we have not incorporated other products into that other than the very first sign up. Oh, if you guys are not on the foil club yet, um, that is what I'm going to give away tonight if we end up with enough um, shares and sprinkles that this is our June collection okay which you can only see the one on top but there are some beautiful foils in here there's 15 feet of foil three feet each of a dark navy Zoe's flowers which is a brand new foil sterling brand new foil pearl white just came out a couple of months ago and also cloud silver okay all these are absolutely gorgeous so this is our foil club it goes out monthly and um, it is about 40% savings off a of retail. So it's 35 bucks, including shipping and handling. It's a heck of a deal. It gets you a great collection every month to play with. And we even have a foil club night. And you'll see me foiling almost every day of the week on this page. Okay, so we're always encouraging you to do as much foiling as you possibly can. Oh, Georgina says, cool, order the new gel for the jeans and the jacket. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Lorraine, thank you so much. Okay, Desiree says we're getting there. We're at 20, okay? So we're at 20 shares. So if you have not hit your share button and shared this to your personal page, please do. If you want to find out about Foil Club, just type the word club into the comments, okay? And some information will be sent to you. Tomorrow at some point, okay, I'm going to try really hard tomorrow to make sure that we have picked our winner from Monday because Monday we have a guaranteed winner, okay, guaranteed. You guys were awesome and, okay, we have got, we got glare tonight and I don't know why, okay, I'm going to, I'm turning the video, okay, there we go. I think I just got to get it off that one light. It just kept like glaring, um, but yes, we definitely have a winner from last night. And I just have to hold this up. Okay, look how cute this is. This is going to be so adorable. I'm going to be rocking, rocking a heck of a nice apron here. Okay, so I know that we're going to do more of these coming up, but I'm probably not going to have the logo as big. Okay, I was trying to determine how big I really needed to make this. And I thought, oh, I don't want it too small, but we might make it a little smaller on the next one. So we can probably put it maybe even a little bit higher up on the apron. But this was a fun, super fun project. Um, this is a process of a two-day application, so if you want to see how I painted this, I was painting it with our DIY paints, and it's just last night's video at 5 o'clock last night, and you guys can see how I did the crocodile as well on the pockets, so that showed you another fun technique on how to use the rollers, and hopefully I have challenged you, inspired you. Um, to do another fun creative project and I so so appreciate you guys being here okay um, okay I just have to wait and I well only other things I have to do you guys is I have top coating to do and that is the most boring thing in the world okay so I don't know if anybody wants to hang out and top coat with me but I want to top coat um, a hat that I was planning on taking with me <laughs> So if you want to hear more about that, hang on, okay? 
if you have been bored to death with me top coating stuff, because I have top coated a lot, okay? Um, I'm just trying to determine if I want gloss or satin on this. Uh, I do a lot with both. Sometimes I like things super shiny and sometimes I don't. And okay, let's try to make sure that stays upside down. Okay, I saw that there was a question over there. I'm going to go back and look at my computer in just a second. In the meantime, I'm just finding a brush that I can top coat with. Hello, Mary Jo. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Georgina, on our website, it is our HTV adhesive. Okay, it's the only HTV that we carry right now, but I'm going to tell you guys, we might. Oh, we might be carrying some HTV, okay? Um, I had a goodie box come from one of my suppliers that showed me some new stuff they had, and we might, because I can't even get it in a foil. I can only get it in HTV. So we might be rocking some new stuff around here. We're going to see. It's going to be a discussion over the next week or so. Um, but I wanted to take... I wanted to take my hat with me, okay? So I want to get another coat on here, and I don't want to get anything on the jeans, okay? Oh, thank you, Kathy. Appreciate it so, so much, okay? And yes, if you haven't hit your share button yet, hit your share button, okay? And we're going to hopefully have a winner tonight as well. Um, if you have not done a hat yet, okay, there's quite a few different ways to do these and we've got great instruction on them on the foil everything page. We're working on a separate video as well as a blog post that will be coming out as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can turn this down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, ooh, that looks glary. Okay, there we go. Um, but I'm trying to get this to where I got a really good top coat heavy enough on here that I don't feel any more stick, okay? And I haven't had chance to go and get, I think it's weatherproofing. Desiree, what is the product that you've been using as your final? Um, and this product has even allowed the hats to get washed, okay? So we've come a long ways on this project, and I want to tell you, it's not just to do with me. I have had several people that have just found products to use, used them, and come back and shared what their success was with it. And I want to tell you, that's what this group is all about, is just sharing your techniques, your fails, your accomplishments, and making sure that the rest of us um, can also be successful, okay? Kiwi Fabric Waterproof Spray. Okay, I'm going to have to go online. I'm sure that's something I can probably find on Amazon because I haven't had time to go shopping, so I just need to order some stuff and get it here, okay? Um, but you definitely have to protect this, and the products that we are coming up with and finding um, not only are you able to protect this, but you're also able to throw your hat in the washer, okay? I'm not going to suggest putting it in the dryer because it says no dryer, okay? But you definitely can throw it in the washer. And I know that some people didn't want to do hats at first because they didn't think they could wash them. I was thinking I really didn't care if it lasted one season or better. I was going to be super happy with this. But yes, I've got to take my hat back and rock this one at the Mastermind as well. Um, so Jimmy is asked, Jimmy, we haven't seen you on here in so long. Um, Desiree, can you respond to Jimmy? Because I don't know anything about the product that you've used because I have not bought it yet, okay? So I want to just make sure that she's um, getting the right material. Because there's a couple of different products that you've used one and somebody else used another one that was some kind of a, a gloss uh, product that also protected, okay? Um, but I, there's a lot of written instructions so far on that foil everything page, okay? Um, plus, like I said, we're coming out with a full uh, video and blog on doing the whole process as well because we want to make sure that you guys have the best instructions, the most complete instructions, because I rather take 
all the guesswork, the worry, the experimenting and all of that out of your hands and make sure that uh, you are super successful when you get to your projects, okay? Okay, yeah, I thought it was some, some kind of spray, perfect. Okay, I'm glad I caught that because I knew Desiree. Desiree's already bought it. Desiree is on the ball, you guys. This girl is always working on trying to figure things out, which is so awesome. We appreciate all of you that um, do that and then come back and share with the group because everybody appreciates it, okay? If if you've gone through the, pro the process of experimenting and coming up with what works, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel, okay? Okay, I'm going to try this because it's still on pretty sticky and see how good of a transfer we can get. Um, I'm finishing up my jeans. Hey, you never know. I haven't picked out what I'm wearing yet tomorrow. Uh, no, not, not dry enough, okay? Still needs to dry. Um, if I get these done, I might be rocking these at the airport tomorrow. We'll see. Um Let's see. I sent a note on last night's video on a replay, Jen. You might want to read this. Huh. Okay. I'll look. Um, I don't always get tagged. Okay. If you don't tag my name, sometimes I don't get to see things, but I will try to go back and look, Lorraine. I promise. Um, oh, you heard of a new paint. Hmm, okay. Well, there's always a lot of paints that are coming out and they're fun to try to like check out and see but we'll check it out so thank you guys okay i want to say uh a super super oh, gosh okay i gotta go back to my mevo i like my mevo because i can go in and out okay um but i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight um we appreciate each and every one of you for being here being part of this community and i want to tell you guys there's a lot of friendships that are happening in this group in this community as I know all of you are getting to know each other so much better. Um, please always share with your friends so that we can grow this community and reach more people that could use a little bit of creativity in their lives. Um, I will try, I'll do my best to come live as many times as I can, but realize I'm going to work, okay? Uh, it's a working trip and um, I don't know. We might have one fun live one night because I think we're all going to craft together. So that'll be great. Uh, but I will definitely share as much as I can while I'm gone with you guys. But there will be plenty of some videos that we'll be posting on our page anyway. So please come back, watch. Don't think I'm just going to be gone and don't come back and, and hang out with us. Uh, if there's any questions or comments you guys have, just go ahead and put them into um, the comments below. And um, Sometime tonight after I'm packing, I'm sure I'll be back on the computer and answering everything. So you guys have a blessed night. And um, who knows, maybe we'll see you tomorrow before we leave. Otherwise, we'll probably see you from the airport. You guys have a blessed night. Thank you always for hanging out with me. Um, okay, we got to find the button over here. Okay, we got to end the broadcast. Guys, bye guys.